Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another three questions in three minutes with our labor power players. I'm very pleased to be joined today by Assemblywoman Latoya Joyner, who is the chair of the Assembly Committee on Labor. Assemblywoman Joyner, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for having me. Could you talk a little bit about your responsibilities as chair of the Labor Committee? What does your day to day look like? As the chair of Labor Committee, we have other members that serve on the committee as well, including Democrats and Republican assembly members. And our primary function is to, you know, introduce, analyze legislation, propose bills that affects workplace safety uh, and protection, um, anything that involves labor, workers, um, and the employment environment. Those bills generally come through um, the labor committee. If it impacts the labor law, that is something that the committee would also look at. We also work on a budget. So we fight for things in the budget that promote economic opportunities for workers and workplace developments. And then we work very closely with the Department of Labor and the State Insurance Fund. Um, and we hold hearings as well, which is very important because then we get to hear from the public and also um, groups on different issues that impact workers and again, the labor market. So those that's generally a synopsis of what we do as a labor committee member. It's like you have a, a lot on your plate. <laughs> so labor has changed so much over the past few years because of the pandemic. How has it changed the goals of the labor committee and also your work? 2020 was, uh, uh, you know, it was a different year for all of us. And we were placed in a historic time where we had to you know, borrow $9 billion from the federal government in order to ensure that New Yorkers had access to unemployment funds. So we are currently in debt with the federal government for $9 billion. So that's going to take us some time to pay back off. And during that time, we um, also had to look at, you know, the workplace environment, um, working from home, also making sure that people were able to go and take the vaccine if they chose to get the vaccine. So we looked at legislation during that time as well to ensure that people had paid time off to go and get the vaccine if they chose to and were not, you know, um, in fear of being retaliated in the workplace if they took time off to, to get that done. Uh, we also, you know, mandated uh, safety practices in the workplace uh, with the HEROES Act. Um, we also looked at legislation regarding um, the pandemic unemployment assistance funds. Many people were receiving funds that they've never received before. So like gig workers who traditionally did not have access to our unemployment system were able to get a new form of payment from the unemployment um, system. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of the events over the past two years are now influencing your work today and your work looking forward. So what are some other uh, additional legislative goals that you're focused on uh, moving forward this year? Two top bills that I'm working on currently, um, you know, March is growing Women's History Month and we also just celebrated Equal Pay Day. So I'm pushing forward um, legislation known as the Sal Salary Transparency Act, which is basically going to ensure that the salary ranges for all positions will be made available to the public. Um, it will definitely help people with um, negotiations and making sure that they are aware of what the salary ranges are for each position so that we're not um, underbidding ourselves or under negotiating ourselves when we are, especially as women, when we're, you know, going into new jobs, we want to make sure that we're not undercutting ourselves when we are asking, asking for different um, salary ranges. So that's one piece of legislation that I will be working on. And the second piece is definitely looking at the minimum wage. Um, making sure we are indexing that to inflation and making sure that that's something that we continue to have on the forefront. So those are two pieces. Those would both be landmark pieces. So uh, I wish you all the best. And thank you so much for taking the time to join me for this three questions in three minutes. Thank you so much, Anna.